Imagine that you could travel back in time to visit prehistoric ecosystems and observe organisms now long extinct. Today, we shall travel back to the early Devonian, nearly 415 million years ago, to what is probably the earliest ecosystems that can be called forest. One that's most dominant life form is no plant. Welcome to the Lakovian Epoch of the Devonian on the continent of La Russia, formed from what will in the future become North America and Northern Europe. Over the past 50 or so million years, Earth's land masses have become greener as plants invaded the land during the mid-Ordovician, made possible by the development of microbial soil crusts that allowed green algae and fungus to begin to colonize the land. Over much of that time, plants have grown in the shadow of a different terrestrial organism, the enigmatic prototaxites. Growing nearly a meter wide and eight meters high, this organism is the first thing approaching the size of a tree on land. It, though, is a lichen, formed from the symbiotic union between algae and fungus. The mighty structure of this organism is composed of interwoven fungal material, which also forms nooks the algal symbiont can grow in and convert the energy of the sun into nutrients to feed itself and the fungus. Below these fungal spires grows the largest plant of this period, the meter high or so coxonia, which is important in the evolution of plants as it is a transitional form between nonvascular and vascular plants, having the oldest known vascular system to appear in plants, which allows them to move water and nutrients through their stems and for the past 15 million years, they have been the dominant land plant. But now, the true vascular plants are beginning to appear, such as Drepanophycus, growing along the ground. Plants like these will lead to the rise of ferns, horsetails, conifers, and, in the more distant future, the flowering plants. Below these more visible plants are the moss forests of non-vascular plants, that now have to share the land with all these new forms of flora. Listen. This landscape is eerily silent, just the slight noise of the breeze blowing through the vegetation. There are no birds singing, no amphibians calling from the river, not even winged insects buzzing through the fields of Coxonia or chirping from the shadows. This is a silent world with just the slightest hints of animal life. Only a few terrestrial invertebrates live on this landscape, tucked away, mostly in the moss clumps, and include springtails, mites, centipedes, millipedes, scorpions, and trigonotarbids, like this heavily armored Eophrynus. These arachnids, while some of the earliest terrestrial animals, will ultimately die out in the early Permian and leave no living descendants. Some of these early terrestrial arthropods have even taken to boring into the mighty prototaxites, something that many modern arthropods do in the woody stems of plants. And it is possible that they will transfer from these giant lichen to the earliest trees that will appear in the mid to late Devonian. These first trees will eventually crowd out and shade the prototaxites, potentially contributing to its extinction.